New Orleans have taken over St. Louis as the murder capital of America. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Lady T and welcome to the channel where you get your dose of news, trending topics, celebrity gossip, and much more. So if you like what you hear, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Now, let's talk about New Orleans. New Orleans have taken over St. Louis as the murder capital of America as the city sees a 141% increase in homicides when compared to recent years. According to the data from the Metropolitan Crime Commission, an organization that tracks crime and also tries to bring it down, there have been 52 homicides per 100,000 residents as of September the 11th. In St. Louis, there have been almost 45 homicides per 100 residents as of September the 17th, according to the data from the St. Louis Police Department. By comparison, there have been almost 18 homicides in Chicago per 100,000 residents and 3.5 in New York City. Homicides in New Orleans are up 141% when compared to 2019 and up 78% when compared to 2021, according to the data which states that there have been 205 homicides in the city from the beginning of 2022 until September the 11th. New Orleans have also seen a 100% increase in shootings in 2022 when compared to 2019. On September the 8th, officials in New Orleans announced an $80 million plan to increase pay for police officers, offer free health care, and a $30,000 in increased hiring incentives for new hires within the department. The city recently hired a consultant, former head of New York City Police Department Patrol Division, vows to Patrodo to review ways in which the police department can better combat crimes. Trodo say in his report released on Tuesday that the police department must take action now if the city is going to be saved. Action must be taken now if there is ever a chance to save the city and bring the reputation of the city where tourists can come and party and celebrate and not be victims. Among the recommendations are an immediate redeployment of 212 police officers to patrol duty rather than their current assignments. My sister had asked me over the summer, did I want to go to the Essence Festival? And I told her, absolutely not. I don't think so. I mean, crime is just too bad in New Orleans right now. It's a scary time in that city. They really do need to get things under control. New Orleans was the murder capital back in the early 2000s and only lost the top spot because of Chicago. The city have always been rough with high murder rates for a very long time. Guns are so easily available these days. People are living below the means. Our elderly are dying out. They can't plant that foundation for a lot of these young folks. These emotionless teenagers with no impulse control that don't fear absolutely nothing, especially consequences. And this retaliation, no snitching culture. Louisiana is the second poorest state in the country with 17.4. When people can't make a livable wage, they're going to rob, they're going to steal, and they're going to kill to get what they want. We have to expand safety net programs to benefit all in need. We have to create good paying jobs that meet family needs, raise minimum wage to ensure economic stability for all, make permanent increases to the child tax credit and earn income tax credit, invest in affordable, high quality child care and early child care education. We need to go and reform this criminal justice system and attack policies and support successful reentry programs. Invest in affordable, accessible housing because housing rent these days is crazy. Modernize the supplemental security insurance program, expand affordable access to health care, and just so much more. I will also suggest bringing in the National Guard to help the police force so they don't get overwhelmed and burn out. I remember when we had one of those hurricanes that came through our city and I was pregnant at the time and I didn't want to leave. So I stayed with my dad and we rolled out the storm, but we didn't have electricity for what, two to three days? 
it was more in some of the other areas but the national guard i mean they was walking the neighborhoods they even rolled in the tanks through the neighborhoods and i was trying to find the pictures i wanted to share with y'all but i think it's on my other laptop there's so many photos on there and i because i wanted to show y'all it's like it was crazy seeing tanks right by my house you know but it was you know patrolling the area and you know trying to keep things safe because it wasn't it, it was very peaceful no crime or anything during that time those a couple of days without electricity i mean they did a thing um but sometimes you you have to implement other resources to try to get this crime down during that time when we didn't have the electricity and the national guard they was patrolling and everything like that i felt safe i really did and then a lot of the they kept a lot of the neighborhoods safe uh, because of their presence of uh, patrolling the streets and the homes and stuff like that so it's just a, a suggestion for the um, new orleans police department as well you know get the national guards and get get them to help out in any way because they need to do something in new orleans the crime is out of control and it's going to really affect their money maker which is tourism you know tourism is not tourists is not going to want to come to a city that's full of crime and spend their money they're not going to do it so the crime is getting bad everywhere and just wait until the holidays everybody y'all ain't seen nothing yet all right guys that's it hope you enjoyed the video let's continue the conversation down below in the comments make sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload I'm Lady T. I'll catch you the next time. Be blessed. Bye.